Hi everybody, Julian David here with Liquid Sonics. Today I'd like to introduce you to Lustrous Plates version 1.2, a powerful update that adds a new sophisticated dynamics processor to Lustrous Plates and Lustrous Plates Around. The new dynamics sections we added to 7th Heaven and Cinematic Rooms Professional have been extremely well received. Now, Lustrous Plates also features built-in dynamics processors for reverb compression, ducking and gating. These dynamics give you an extra degree of creative control for more detailed and expressive reverbs, perfectly tailored to your production. The update also includes minor fixes and native Apple Silicon support. Best of all, if you're an existing owner of Lustrous Plates, you get to enjoy these new features at no additional cost. So let's have a closer look at the update. To find the Dynamics processor, navigate to the new Dynamics tab located on the bottom right side of Lustrous Plates and the right side of the master controls in Lustrous Plates Surround. Clicking the down arrow reveals the available Dynamics modes. When it comes to ducking and compression, there are three different modes, each with distinctive creative uses. The controls are identical and probably familiar to you if you've ever used a compressor. What's different between the modes is the position of the compressor in the signal path and what signal it is reacting to on its sidechain. In the ducking and compression modes, the output signal is reduced when it rises above the threshold at a rate determined by the ratio. The knee controls how gradually that ratio is applied. Attack and release control how quickly the compression begins to act on the signal when it is above or below the threshold. Trim is a simple gain control for compensating the level lost by the ducking so you can correctly AB the effect. The gain reduction meter gives you a visual indication of how much compression is happening at a given moment. Now you might ask, how can I harness the built-in ducking and compression options in my mix? While reverbs are essential to crafting depth, size and dimension in a mix, they can sometimes interfere with clarity and vocal intelligibility. Plate reverbs in particular can require a bit more attention due to their very high density and fast onset when compared to other types of reverb. In a room or hall, the reflections of the reverb are of a lower density, which provides more space in the mix. But lush and thick plates can hit with a little too much weight. Ducking is a technique that compresses the reverb during the vocal phrases and releases during the vocal breaks, allowing the reverb to flood back in. By doing so, you get that lovely vintage vibe of the plate without any smearing or crowding of the original signal. Let's have a quick listen to the reverb ducker on a rock vocal. I'm going to start off with the default settings, but then adjust the controls to make the ducking work perfectly with the ebb and flow of the vocal track. Come to the dark side. Let's bring down the threshold. It's warm down here. Abandon your morals. That's maybe a little Take much. A wide, my dear. Right around there. The default ratio of 2.5 to 1 works really well for me. You might go up a little bit, but unless you're looking for something really drastic, this is a great place to be. Come to the dark side. Let's shorten the attack. It's warm down here. Abandon your morals And increase Take the release super wild, my dear. Come to the dark side Finally, make up some gain It's warm down here Abandon your morals Take a super wild, my dear. Let's hear that in the track. I'll start with the dynamics off and then I'll turn them back on. Try to have a listen to how the ducking helps keep the vocal up front in the mix. We have shown how to lighten the sound of a plate, but if you're looking for an even thicker and denser reverb sound, the compression mode is the way to go. Furthermore, a long attack and short release time can help bring out the initial phase of the plate response. Switching the mode to compress the input on the other hand tames sudden peaks and transients before the signal is sent to the reverb algorithm. This mode can also be helpful to avoid overloading the plate when sending multiple instruments to the same instance of lustrous plates. Many vintage plates exhibit a fairly strong limiting effect on the input to their amplification stage. So using the compressor on the input rather than the reverb can help you achieve a plate response that is even more like a real plate when driven pretty hard. Let's audition the compressor modes on a guitar track. 
Again, I'll start with the dynamics off, and then I'll engage the reverb compressor for an even thicker and denser plate sound. Now without adjusting any controls, let's find out what happens when we switch the mode to compress the input instead of the output. Here it is in bypass. And back on. In this mode, the compressor is really effective in taming those guitar transients to give us a more uniform plate response, which I really like on this track. Let's hear that in context. Again, I'll start with the dynamics off. Gated reverb on drums is a staple of iconic 80s records, but I find this production style is still highly relevant today. Beyond drums, a reverb gate can generally be helpful to control the plate reverb in the mix. The reverb gate controls allow you to fine-tune the reverb response. When the reverberated signal falls below the gate's threshold, it is reduced in gain by the number of decibels specified by the range control. This reduction happens after the pause time determined by hold and takes the time to reach the level reduction determined by the close time. When the signal exceeds the threshold plus the hysteresis amount, the gate will reopen over the time period set by the open parameter. Let's explore this in action on our snare drum. I went for the snare verb factory preset in lustrous plates and I'm going to tweak the dynamics to get that classic gated reverb sound. First I'll bring down the threshold. Right around there, shorten the hold time a bit, and increase the close time so it works well with the tempo. Here it is off, and back on. And there it is, let's hear it in the track. The version 1.2 updates for Lustrous Plates and Lustrous Plates Surround are available now from the downloads page on liquidsonics.com. Simply download the updater and install the full plugin over the top of your existing installation. Of course, both editions include native support for Apple Silicon. It's exciting to see Liquid Sonics' commitment to add value to their reverb plugins based on customer feedback. Expanding on the existing unique features for precision control, the built-in dynamics give you yet another tool in your toolbox to craft unique sounds with the 10 rich and beautiful plate models. Download the update for Lustrous Plates now and start exploring the new creative potential during your next mix. Thanks for watching and see you soon.